kumpulan wang pesaraan diperbadankan is under pressure to ensure that it has enough money to cover its pension obligations. In this week's cover story, we put a new CEO, Nick Am Lizan Mohamed, under the spotlight and ask her how she intends to ensure that Kwap continues to outperform regardless of the current market conditions. She talks about her aspirations and plans for Kwap as well as the big issue of the size of the country's civil service which critics have always regarded as bloated. We address the problem of the rising pension bill and the issue of reform that has been in the works since the last administration. Also explored ESG in investing and how investors are looking beyond profits. Coop, however, already began its ESG journey in 2009 and talks about how it intends to up the game. In city and country, it is all about the secondary property market that is likely to remain soft this year. Real estate experts are calling for incentives, including those offered under the Home Ownership Campaign, to be extended to secondary properties to boost sentiment and help recovery. In Options, we interview Tamara Lim, founder and CEO of PrepWorks. In it, she talks about how PrepWorks aims to give young people an edge in achieving their academic dreams and what it really takes to get into some of the world's top universities. In our Digital Edge pullout, we go to the ground and see how fintech can help farmers. Limited access to banking infrastructure and poor credit are just some of the problems curtailing growth for smallholder farmers. Agricultural and fintech startup Kapitani wants to fix all of this, starting at the most basic, a bookkeeping app to keep records in order. Details in this week's edition of The Edge. Save by subscribing to us for your print and or digital copy. The Edge is also available on Apple's App Store and Android's Google Play.